What first struck you about cardistry, or why were you intrigued in the first place? Uh, well, it's some of it, it, there's quite a bit of it was context. It was, obviously I've seen people do, for lack of a better word, card tricks and things like that before. But when I saw it in the context of your page, and I've, you know, Jacob, I've followed your stuff for quite a while, and it was an overhead shot, I've talked about it a couple times, or it was at least some sort of reflection or something like that. We were looking down on someone and they were, you were kind of seeing their hands fan out in front of them. And uh, something about it this time was just incredibly, significantly more elegant than card tricks or things like that that I'd seen in the past. And this time looked a bit more like dancing or skateboarding or something like that in terms of its movement. And, uh, and then seeing it kind of within your context, I was putting some of your world and your aesthetic together and then watching this and all of a sudden it just became something really refreshing to be honest with you. How does your approach change when you design something less serious or something more like obsolete? Well, I mean, what, what was interesting on this one, it's, it's hard not to reflect back on some of the first examples that I sent over to you guys that were quite wild looking. And then the pushback was like, actually, you know, millimeters matter here, if not even less than that in terms of moving things in the structure of the cards. It was this idea that by changing a font or moving something even just a little bit, people in the card world will notice this. And I was fascinated by that because so much of what I work in it's funny to say it, but it's like an industrial design, but I'll always be semi-streetwear adjacent. So for me to play in different materials was enough to stand out while the tiniest things in your world are really where the design comes into play or the magic comes into play. And I was just really attracted to that restriction. What do you think the, the 52 card company or like the idea of that continuation, what does that mean to you in this context? Selfishly for me, it's a, it's a play on this uh, the one, two, three, four, five thing that I introduced maybe two or three, four years ago. This idea of like, originally was inspired by Jasper Johns as he was kind of reacting to the abstract expressionist movement. He just wanted to paint things people were really familiar with. And I think playing cards are obviously something people are really familiar with. My one, two, three, four, five thing is me playing with numerics and sequential numbers just for the sake of. There's really not much more beyond that. And then this one was like, I told a couple people who I've chatted with about this project and, and we've talked about it, how truly collaborative it was. Like we just sat on a call and grinded on it until, uh, what if it was fully sequential deck? And uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, this one's just a particularly magic one to me. It's also like my work tends to be fairly literal and the 52 card number is like the literal, you know, it's the amount of cards in the deck. There's not, there's no hidden meaning to that. It's just very literal. Yeah. And I, I just love shit like that. Where do you see this deck of cards fitting in people's lives? For me, they're, they're a coffee table object. They're almost like something you might stash in your luggage just to have when you're maybe out of town or traveling or something like that. They're a conversation topic. They're an expression of two people, two brands collaborating with the result being an art object. I guess every time I do something that looks very odd, but also normal at the same time, my goal with all of that is to help people just say like, even the most mundane things around you can be reimagined with the tiniest edit to be really kind of compelling. We didn't do much, this is just ink. It's like all we're working with is ink on these in terms of what we did to change these. We didn't render them in a precious metal. We didn't go through a crazy manufacturing process. It's seriously just an idea in ink and it's like, wow, you can really shift something quite a bit with just that small change. I've heard this one quote, it's fairly brutal, but a painting is only worth the canvas and the paint. Everything else is speculation. And like, I actually find freedom in that because I'm like, okay, cool. So I can do that too, or I can participate in that. It doesn't always have to be, you know, what crazy alloy are we rendering this in? I would put these cards right next to any other, you know, really wildly difficult object I've done. It's the same methodology, same mind behind it. I mean, I'm lucky in this instance it's a collaboration, but uh, it's the same thing. You can actually like grab this, pick it up, carry it with you as this like item that is, yeah, it might even look better worn out, you know what I mean? It, uh, those kinds of things are interesting to me.